Welcome to uh, another half hour of chair yoga with Basanti from Perfect Yoga. We're going to come onto our chair and sit right on the edge of the chair. And we're going to bring the hands onto the knees, just close our eyes and start taking very slow breaths into the body. And I want you to take that moment of slow breaths and really take your time here. It's probably the first time today that we're breathing very consciously and slowly. I want you to take that time to start scanning your body for areas of tension. Maybe it's the shoulders that are a bit tense. Maybe it's our neck muscles. It might just be that you're tensing up your jaw. So just go from head to toe and see if there's any tension in the body. And if there isn't, even better. If you notice that maybe your hips or your spine, lower back, maybe the legs, maybe the hamstrings are a bit tight, zone in on that area where you can feel that tightness. And then take a very conscious, deep breath into that part of the body. And exhale through the mouth. So it's as if we're inhaling to feel that tension and exhaling to release that tension. And that's, you know, it's just a little bit so our mind knows we want to really relax our body. And there's a lot that we can do with that because we're softening the body that way and we are part of the stress response that tenses up our muscles as well. It's not just the adrenaline and cortisol running through our body. It's also the fact that we're tensing up the muscles and now we're just consciously releasing and relaxing. So it doesn't need stretches. Those are wonderful as well, but we want to start with just getting ourselves ready to soften the body, every part of the body. Do a couple more breaths like that, just nice and relaxed. And then we close our mouth and we open the eyes. And we're going to start rolling into the shoulders with the hands on the shoulders. So draw a big circle with your elbows. You can make that a small circle to begin with, but see how far you can get here. How big that circle can become. No rush here. This is going to warm you up a little bit. It's going to feel nice, I think. And if anything doesn't feel nice, then let's stay away from it. We don't have to torture ourselves here. This is to feel good, to stretch in a way that makes us feel more comfortable while we're sitting at the desk all day. Remember those deep breaths. And now all we're changing is that we're keeping the mouth closed. And we change the direction of our circle, going to the back, up and forwards. Or if you've done that direction before, then change direction. Nice big circle here. A few more, just like that, with those deep breaths. We release and we shake it off. Let the arms just hang here and then start shrugging the shoulders. Again, we roll the shoulders to the back and open the palms to the front. We're going to take a deep breath in and on the exhale we're going to turn the head to the left. Just looking to the left, slide the shoulders down and from here drop the chin towards your shoulder Feel that nice deep stretch here in that side, in that right side of the neck. Now if you feel too much here, release a little bit. I don't want you to be in pain. Again, this is to relax. So you're allowed to feel something, but you don't feel pain. There's a difference between pain and 
feeling the body work, feeling a deep stretch. And a good indicator is our breath. If we suddenly can't breathe properly, then please release some of that strain on your body. Good, now from here, look up towards the ceiling. We're dropping that back ear towards the back, stretching into the right side still. Shoulders slide down, keep them relaxed. Good, and from here, drop your right ear down towards the chest. You'll probably feel a lot of sensations here in the fingers and the hands and the fingertips. Stay for a little bit longer. And raise the head again, looking to the left and back to center. We're going to do the same on the other side, but before we do, let's give ourselves a little shake here. Because this in itself is a lot. You're probably feeling quite warm. I know I am, so you'll be in good company. Right, we're going to roll the shoulders to the back, open the palms to the front, and slide the shoulders down. So fingertips are reaching down towards the ground. Don't overdo this. You now know how long we're holding. So just be comfortable, okay? We take a deep breath in. And we exhale and turn the head to the right. A couple of breaths here. You might already feel this here in the front. Make sure that it doesn't hurt as you slowly drop the chin down towards the shoulder. So all of these stretches have the, stay where you are, all of these stretches have the benefit of releasing a lot of that tension, but because there is tension there when we're sitting at a desk all day, it might be too much. So really be aware of that, be mindful of what hurts and what is too much. raise the chin up and drop our right ear towards the back. Slowly bring the head back up and bring our right, sorry, our left ear towards the chest. Still looking to the right. Still sliding the shoulders down. You notice we're not holding for a minute or a minute and a half here or longer. I always say here when we're going into the fascia, that's really important. This is to warm us up as well and to make sure that we're warm enough and relaxed enough. And we're gently stretching into the muscle. And we raise the head again. And we turn the head back to the front, shake it off. Any pins and needles here in the fingers? Hopefully not too bad. Okay, we're going to bring the hands onto the knees and we're going to round the back and drop the chin to the chest. We're going to inhale and arch the back and open the palms, resting the hands on our knees. We're going to exhale and round the back. We're going to inhale and arch the back, opening up the palms to the ceiling. Exhale and round. Inhale and arch. Good. Now stay here, keep arching the back, raise the arms, bring the palms together and then interlock the hands, push the palms away from you. Slide your shoulders down, squeeze the shoulder blades and push the arms to the back. Close your eyes, we're going to stay here for a lot of deep, slow breaths. pushing the tailbone to the back, pubic bone comes down towards the ground, down towards the chair. The head 
can get heavier towards the back, but please be mindful of how your neck muscles are feeling here. Don't raise the shoulders up towards the ears, slide them down. And we slowly release. Yeah, we shake it off. And then we're gonna come into a lovely hip opener, bringing that left foot on top of the right knee and pushing the knee down. If we can stay straight in the spine here, if we feel we can tip forwards from the hip, so keeping the back straight, and bring our forearms onto our leg, then go ahead and do that. If you want to come lower, that's absolutely fine. Just relax here, keep your neck muscles relaxed as well. And if you want to now go into the neck muscles a little bit, feel if there's any tension. And if you can move the head from side to side, maybe chin to collarbone, see how that feels. Just find if there's tension somewhere and if there is and you can feel that hold that head in a position that feels comfortable for you so that you get that release where you actually need it so completely up to you what you're doing here with your head where you're stretching into the neck muscles or you can just look to the front or even down to the ground just relaxing the neck muscles if you're looking up you're gonna put a little bit more strain here on the neck muscles maybe imagine them being uh, yeah, a continuation of the spine, which they are, a <laughs> surprise. So that's where you want to be unless you're stretching in a different way. Longer holes here for us. Now slowly bring both hands onto that knee and open up your torso towards the left. Very gentle twist, nothing deep, and you're going to feel that much deeper in your hip. slowly release well done now hug your knee in towards you and if you want if you feel you need it give yourself a little massage here you can drop the head towards the knee if you like now hugging that knee in too tightly might give you a cramp so just take it easy very good and from here we're going to bring that left leg on top of the right, maybe the foot goes around, maybe you want to keep the toes on the ground, see where you're most comfortable, be safe on your chair here, hopefully your chair doesn't have rolls, if it does, push yourself against the wall, and then bring that right arm to the outside of the legs and slide it down. Then from here, twist and raise your left arm and look up to the ceiling. Now there's a lot of options here, you can release that left arm and just bring the um, hand behind you on the chair, maybe holding on to the backrest, you can look to the side, you can look up towards the ceiling or down. So just do what's comfortable for the neck and be comfortable here. So let's take deep breaths to make sure that we're really comfortable here and we're not constricting the breath. Again, that first sign of, um, of being too deep in a stretch, doing too much here. We're going to slowly release that left hand, raise ourselves up again. We're going to stay in our twist. This time just straightening here, right hand where it is, left hand at the back rest, maybe on the other side here. So you can use that to push yourself into a slightly deeper twist. If you want, you can bring that left hand onto the right waist here. Check on your breathing, again, deep, slow breaths. And we slowly release. Good, 
from here into a hamstring stretch. We're going to start this nice and slowly, so see where you are, bring that knee in towards you as we've done before, and then hold on underneath your foot. If you're wearing shoes, maybe take them off. Interlock the hands underneath you, and then slowly stretch that leg to the front. I'm going to show you from the side here. I don't want you to come towards the back here. I don't want you to round your back in an effort to hold on. So if this is too much, just hold on to your lower leg or interlock the hands underneath your thigh. And then straighten from here, try and flex the foot. Now I'm not going to ask you to straighten the leg all the way. This is not our aim. This is not what we really need. We just want to stretch into our hamstring. So you are completely in control and you will feel this stretch here in the back of the leg get deeper and deeper. If you need to hold on elsewhere, then please do. If that leg is much lower, then that's absolutely fine. You must feel this in the back of the leg. And that's all that matters. And if you're really, really flexible, it doesn't hurt. Actually, it's quite um, safe to add a little micro bend here in the, um, pep, in the, in the leg. In the thigh, I was going to say, and then I wanted to say knee. So in the leg, <laughs> just so we know we're not overstretching, you know. Hold you for a little bit longer. So those are those parts of the body that we really don't work when we're sitting at a desk, of course. You know, that, that 90 degree angle that the legs constantly build when we're sitting on a chair. And most of us have that sedentary lifestyle, even if we don't spend eight hours or 10 hours or 12 hours at the desk. We'll be sitting on a sofa after that. So there's, um, yeah, there's a lot that we can do, a lot of good that we can do with just holding this straight position for a long time. Also, if you have really tight hamstrings, you might notice yourself in bed pointing the toes because you're not able anymore to flex the foot because the hamstring won't give. So this is a good one here with that flexed foot, but again, you take this in according to your own level and don't overdo anything. Good, and from here, we have the knee back in towards us. Take a few deep breaths. Very good. And we'll do the same on the other side. Starting with our hip opener. So again, left foot firmly on the ground, right foot comes onto the left knee and we gently press down. Now as I always say, but I'll say it again, just make sure you're judging this side by how it feels and not by how the other side was looking. It might be higher, that knee knee might be much lower. So see where you are, give yourself a few moments here. And then once you're ready, you can tip forwards from the hip a little bit more to increase this hip flexor stretch. Now again, in terms of sensation, we're not looking for a 10 out of 10. We're not here to torture ourselves. We're holding this position. We're holding it long enough to release the muscle fibers, the fascia, and this is why we're staying for that long. So let's give ourselves that. If we want to come lower, if we can do that and still be comfortable enough, comfortably uncomfortable. And again, we can do what we did on the other side as well, seeing if there's any tension in the body, maybe ear to shoulder, maybe again what we did before, but maybe this time even raise the chin and see how that feels for your neck. And maybe choose a position here of the head where you feel you're stretching in a way that'll be beneficial for you. And if you don't think that's necessary, then we'll just look down to the ground, relaxing the neck muscles, keeping them as an extension of the spine. And we breathe just to ourselves, slow, deep and relaxed breath. As we know, the slower we do that, especially on the exhalation, we're really taking our time, the better that is for activation of our rest and digest system, and the better that's going to be for metabolizing our stress hormones and producing our own happy hormones. Good, we slowly come up and bring both hands onto that knee. And then take it easy, really slowly open up the torso towards the right, Right hand can go behind us as well, can even here rest on the left way. So there's options here. Just make sure you're still straight in the spine, don't round your back. And 
and slowly release. And again, we're going to hug that knee in towards you. You'll probably feel that one side is much more open than the other, that one side needs that massage here, that it needs a longer hold here to release. So we're giving it that counter pose and we're giving that some time as well. Take a few deep breaths here, just relax. You can drop the head if you like. Relax your shoulders. From here, right knee on top of the left, left uh, right foot can come underneath the left as well, but it doesn't have to, you can keep it on the ground. And then from here, bring that left arm to the right side of the legs, of both legs, slide it down, keep your back straight. So we don't want to round here, that's not our idea. So don't think, oh, I must go as close to the ground as possible. No, think of opening up, think of where we're going with this. So, right, our left arm comes down, we open up to the side here maybe looking to the side for a little bit, and then raise that right arm if you want, if that's not too much, and look up to the ceiling. And again, this might be too much, this isn't for everyone. You can drop that hand, maybe holding onto the backrest, maybe just dropping the arm, maybe bringing that hand towards the back here so that you can push your right shoulder to the back. But where you're looking again, it's also up to you, make sure that you're not putting a strain on your neck muscles here. Good. Now, not just the breath is important here, we want to make sure that we're not clenching our jaw. That's very often another very telltale sign that we're stressing ourselves too much, that we're going too deep, that we're concentrating, that we're trying too hard. There's nothing wrong with concentration, of course. <laughs> but trying too hard is not what we're going for. Okay, and then we drop that hand. We're going to straighten the torso, stay in your twist, and maybe bring that right hand to the left side of the chair here. That might be too much, it can be anywhere else. And as I said before, that right hand can also rest on your left waist. All right, let's stay in that seated twist. We're still here. <laughs> Good, we take a last deep breath in. And we exhale and come out of our twist. We're going to hug that right knee in towards us. Walk our hands underneath the foot. Again, if that's too much, just keep the hands underneath the knee here. And we're going to straighten the leg. Now again, we want to make sure we're flexing the foot here. So if you're holding onto the foot, it's obviously much easier to know that you're flexing the foot. Don't straighten the leg all the way if that's too much. Just make sure that you're comfortable enough to hold this for long enough to release. So you can close the eyes here, get comfortable wherever you are. Breathe into your hamstring. I know we're not breathing into it, we're breathing into the lungs. But when I say that, what I mean is feel no constriction there. Feel that breath flow freely and imagine that breath flowing through the hamstring. You might be doing that with just imagining energy. You might be imagining the blood that's now running through your leg. This is not something, you know, you're not believing in, in spiritual things, things that aren't, be, aren't um, being proven to you. You don't have to. This is really just about us softening the body and our breath helps us with that. That's all it is. And we make sure here as well that we're straight in the spine, that we're not rounding the back in an effort to straighten the leg, because it doesn't matter if the leg isn't all the way straight. If you're holding on here, just make sure that wherever the leg is, we're flexing the foot so that we're getting a calf stretch as well.
few more slow breaths. slowly release and we hug the knee in towards us. Tilt the head if you like. And we release. And how are we feeling? <laughs> we're feeling fine. Let's stand up for a moment. Good. Hamstrings done. We're going to do a standing twist here as well. We did this last time, I think. So if you did the, watch the last video, you'll remember. Raise, so um, feet hip distance apart here. We do this with one leg um, to the back as well, but this time feet hip distance apart. And raise an arm and look up to the ceiling. It doesn't matter which one, because we do both sides. Reaching the fingertips high. Good. Now from here, a stretch into the lats, into our side body. Reach that arm to the front. And we're going to release. Same on the other side, predictably. Raise your other arm. Look up to the sky. Breathe. So this is a gentle twist. We should already feel our side body here. There was a contraction on the side that's now being stretched. That in itself is going to make us feel that here. Now reach that arm over the head, breathe into the side. And release. Very good. We're going to come back onto the chair. From here, feet together, knees together. And we're going to let ourselves roll forwards, drop the head, release any tension in the back and then slowly roll back up through the spine. This time bring the soles of the feet together so make sure you're sitting comfortably enough on the chair, don't let the chair roll back if you've got rolls and then bring the hands onto the knees, the knees apart here, nice and gently come down and release. Just let yourself get heavy here. You can hold onto your opposite elbow, Just relax your whole body. Good. Now interlock the hands behind you. Raise the arms, squeeze the shoulder blades. If it gets too much, bring the soles of the feet to the ground here. It might be a bit much if you, you know, if, if it hurts a bit on the, the lateral edges of the foot. But just whatever works here. Good. And we slowly come up. We keep squeezing our shoulder blades. And we bring the feet together firmly onto the ground if we haven't already. Now feet can be hip distance apart here. We keep squeezing the shoulder blades. Now close your eyes. We're going to do a bit of breathing now. Breathing in for three and out for three to begin with. I'm going to guide that. And then we're going to slow down that breath further. So we're going to inhale for three, two, one. Exhale, three, two, one. 
take a moment, observe the breath, keep squeezing the shoulder blades, and then inhale for four, three, two, one, out for four, three, two, one, in for four, three, two, one, out for four, three, two, one, in for four, three, two, one, out for six, five, four, three, two, one, in four, three, two, one, out six, five, four, three, two, one. And then release. And we take a deep breath in and raise the arms and look up. We exhale through the mouth and float the arms down. And again. In through the nose, out through the mouth. We can really exhale with everything we've got. Almost as if we were doing a heart sound. One last time, exhaling through the nose now. Very good, and we're done for today. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you very soon.